Hello giant pumpkin people. Welcome back to the greenhouse. As you can see behind me, we got some greenery going on. That's always a good sight. We've been working since last fall. And now finally we're getting to see why we've been putting in all the work. Nice big green leaves. That's right. Big green leaves produce big orange pumpkins. At least that's what we hope. Today I am going to be pollinating a backup on the 1989.5 Deletus. And if you were to watch my uh, diary on bigpumpkins.com, you would have saw that that guy back there was pollinated a few days ago with a beautiful five lobe pumpkin. So let's check this guy out. All right, so I've already got gone back there and grabbed my male flowers, I got four of them. Uh, that's the 24, 16.5, Haste, and we're going to pollinate our backup. So, what you love to see is a nice, perfect five lober, maybe a six lober. Four lobers are okay, uh, but you want them to be nice and uniform. So we're back here, right there. You can see our little guy growing. He's our main one. Good thing he's growing because check this out. What the heck is that? I have no idea. It looks like one, two, three, maybe a four, maybe a five and a half, maybe six, and uh-oh, seeds. You never like to see that. But who cares? We're pollinating him. We're going to leave him grow to probably day, I don't know, 10 or so. We'll probably cut him off then, but I want to see what this ugly lober does. See let me know if you guys have some like this and what do you do have you ever grown one that looks like that have you ever grown one with seeds in it what happens when they have seeds in it i have never grown one with seeds in it before you can see those are the seeds right there so i mean it's a big huge flower you can see the pumpkin was a nice looking shape we'll get down here see if we can see him yeah it was a nice shaped pumpkin but that is not what you like to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this guy up. We'll take you over here real quick. So this is 1989.5 Deletus. I think we're sitting at like uh, day eight. So day 10 is when I start to measure. Generally, you don't even need to start measuring to day 20, but this is watch it grow. So the best way to watch it grow is to actually see how much it measures each day so there you go nice shape um, these pumpkins here are known to on this plant there are like half of them I've looked at them they're half orange and half white pumpkins I don't know that one looks white to me what do you guys think anybody grow on the 1989.5 deletus have yours been white Have yours been orange what are they pretty cool I would guess it to be about 16 or so inches right now. So day uh, 10, we're looking for anywhere around the 25 inch range. So quick look at the plant. Terminations, they're all already done over here. You got three more that are gonna be terminated here. Terminations done over here. We got two more coming on strong here that'll need to be terminated. We got two more here. There's a few more here, a few more here. You can see some of the vines. They're really healthy. They're really growing. As far as the plant goes, absolutely my best shaped plant to date. No problems. Big issue. If you've seen me in the past, I've had gummy stem blight. So this year, this guy will do what he wants to do. She'll grow how she wants to grow. I'm concerned about the plant. I am fighting gummy stem blight. And I, so far, I'm winning. We will let you know. We'll keep you updated. You can see the haste. It's, if anybody else is growing the haste plant, I'd like to know. Uh, I've heard. I've seen on, on uh, Big Pumpkins where uh, their plants have been not as quickly growing as the other plants. And I'm seeing the same thing. The leaves are closer together. That plant has probably almost as many leaves, but it's just not as wide. 
they're it doesn't grow these here you can see how far they're reaching out there they grow a good foot in between the leaves these here are about eight inches in between the leaves so it's a much more compact plant still extremely green no gummy stem blight issues looking great i'll keep you guys updated see ya